I would substitute all your bananas <laughs> for cucumbers. Over a hundred. <laughs> all right, so we can put up with the cancer, right? <laughs> so if you want to stay extra virgin like me, this dressing is recommended. Hey guys, Paul here. We're gonna talk about bulking on a budget. And the reason I'm gonna talk about bulking is because that's what you need to gain muscle. You need to up your calories so that you're in a surplus, so your body has stuff to eat. And number one thing, 59 cents a pound is bananas. English, well, I don't think these are English cucumbers, but an English cucumber is only about 45 calories. This is 100 calories a banana, about the same size. You can go ahead and eat three bananas, that's 300 calories. Go ahead and try eating one full cucumber just by itself, and that'll only be 45. So just right there, you can earn, well, earn, gather, accumulate 300 calories just by eating three bananas throughout the day as opposed to just eating veggies, right? Big calorie difference. If you're trying to cut, <laughs> then you're gonna lose some weight. All right, check it out, guys. Five bucks for a full chicken. How much protein is in here? Seven. We got seven serving sizes per container, 17 grams per serving. 17 times 7 is how much? 70 plus 49, 100. You do the math, it's in the video. That's how many grams of protein you get per day eating a chicken. I recommended before, the minimum you need to eat in order to bulk, in order to have enough food for your muscle, is the bare minimum is one gram per kilogram of body weight. So that's about one gram per pound, uh, half a gram per pound. So if I'm 150, I need to eat, man, my brain is fried after work, 75 grams of protein per day. That's double that. I'll be way above, I'll be good. And if you're bulking, just that alone for five bucks, you're golden. Hey guys, check it out. 15 bucks for 20 pounds of rice. In case you're wondering how much rice that is, this is, it says here, 200 servings. You see that right there? 200 servings, a quarter cup of dry rice. Once you cook it, that turns into half a cup. Usually when you're bulking, you're eating from a, ha from a cup to two cups. So in between that area. If you're eating one cup per meal, you're at 30 cents per meal. If you're eating two cups per meal, you're at 60 cents per meal. And at two cups, that's 50 meals, five zero. At one cup, that's 100 meals for 15 bucks. If you're trying to save money, that's a lot of money saved. And of course, this is the cheapest of the cheap. This is a uh, great value, Walmart rice. But we're on a budget, so we can put up with the cancer, right? Um, let's keep going. All right, I wish these guys paid me for picking a certain brand to advertise, but they're not paying me, so whatever. 327 for peanut butter. Why I recommend peanut butter over sitting there eating chocolate all day to gain your calories, because first of all, chocolate's expensive. Second of all, pe peanut butter has protein in it. We got eight grams for two tablespoons. No There's applesauce everywhere. And There's we've got 25 servings no per can. So, for 25 pieces of bread, this is good enough, and it only costs you three bucks, and you get eight grams of protein per two tablespoons that go on your piece of bread. Plus, if you get the right bread, which is what we're gonna go over in a second, you can get protein from your bread as well. Double bingo, and uh, you get lean calories instead of getting just fat calories or what is it called? Simple carb, simple sugar calories that get turned to fat quickly because you have they get broken down easily, your body can't put them to use. Whereas if you have protein, it takes more time to digest them, to use them, and they get broken down to amino acids, which your body's more likely to use instead of storing them as you know lipid chains. Um, but 
that that's too complicated and we're just going simple now so peanut butter is our next one cheap food good for putting up calories good for putting up protein 200 calories a can uh, serving Sorry guys, the, the push-ups just call my name randomly. Um, so we're on the next one, 384, four 24 servings of spaghetti. Say you eat 100 grams of serving, right? I like to eat 100 grams, not 50 grams. That would put us at 400 calories per meal, four bucks. 12 meals, four bucks, 400 calories a meal. And remember the rice we talked about? Get a rice cooker. It's really quick and easy to cook. And this, I don't know if this could be cooked on a rice cooker, but it's also very easy to boil, prepare, and cheap, and it's got protein. Seven grams for 50 serving. And then we were talking about a 100 gram serving. That'll put us at 14 grams of protein for the spaghetti. And another thumbs up. Another, some more lean calories, no empty calories, you know, just simple carbs and here we go. I like this bread in particular. Again, they're not paying me for it. Five super grains, beautiful marketing technique. Probably not much grains in there, but it's whole grains. It's a good bread and it's organic. And I recommend you guys eat organic because there's a lot of pesticides that go in our food. And one thing that USDA looks for, apart from GMO or non-GMO, is pesticides being used in your food food and they recommend doing no pesticides because of all this bad stuff that comes with it and you know in our house we only try to eat organic because we try to be healthy you know and um, so yeah this is a good bread I was checking my analytics and it says that over 90% of my viewers, I think only 3% are actual girls watching me, the other are 97. So if you wanna stay extra virgin like me, this dressing is recommended. I think that's it for our foods today. Uh, we've covered everything. Of course I hear beans are good, but you gotta ask your Mexican friend about that. I'm from Russia, it wasn't a big part of my diet. Um, I'll see you guys soon. I hope you can eat good on a budget eat well on a budget. Bad grammar there. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.